Do you want to tell everyone about that? What, about me being sick? Yeah. <laughs> what? This, this is how we start the podcast now. We just <laughs> random gibberish. Well, no, if you tell them you're sick, then they'll forgive you for, you know, not being that entertaining or whatever. Oh, yes. I'm so sick. I'm so oh, sick, really? guys. Oh, my Dude, gosh. I feel so bad for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So just in case I'm not that entertaining this week. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Visual Wood Podcast episode number crap. 51. Crap. Come on. There was a whole thing last week. Where I, we I know what it was 50. this time. I know it was 51 this time, but I didn't want to I didn't want to put it in the thing. We still and haven't made any headway on doing something special for like the one year. Thing. Um, I th- what is one year? Is it uh fifty what fifty what weeks? Well, I yeah uh fifty six. Fifty three. How many weeks are there? Yet? Fifty is it fifty two oh, yeah, weeks? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> fifty two. Don't oh. look, look. We I cut our losses. We're one minute seventeen of the podcast, and we're being absolute idiots. <laughs> we don't know how many weeks there are in the year. All right. <laughs> no, it's fifty two. I think it's fifty two. Hold on. Fifty two. That would make me wrong on both counts, and I don't like that. <laughs> it's okay. We it's okay. We'll cut this out. You know, you, you you know how we always cut out your mistakes and it seems like I'm the stupid one here, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Matt did me a solid last podcast. He did a, a <laughs> nice cut at the end. Dude, when I when I wanted to cut, I noticed that when we recorded that, when I'm like when I want to cut something, I really want it cut. I'm like if I crash, I crash hard. I'm like it's going to go. It's going to go. Yeah, yeah, you don't even like try to like make up for it. <laughs> no, I'm just like that's it. It's game over. <laughs> There's no redemption from this point on. Um, it is fifty two point fourteen weeks in a year. Fifty two. I didn't look All that right. up on Google. That's just from the brain. I was just calculating it while I was talking to you. <laughs> well, you were a math quiz, right? <laughs> There's uh, like uh, everyone else who corrects us on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, well, let me go to Google for a second. Yeah, go ahead. You realize that means the next podcast is our one year worth of podcasts. Yes, I, I do. Um, leave down in the comment section below what what would you like to see or I mean hear, <laughs> see. It's kind of sad actually. <laughs> Our real one year anniversary Visit. was on August the first, mm-hmm. which was during the hiatus. So that was a bit depressing. We missed the real one year. Yeah, we did, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's not bring up past. Um, no, 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 we didn't miss it. It was recorded. It is out there, but it is only available on Patreon. Matt Mayfield's <laughs> <laughs> There was no hiatus. It's all fake. And it's just uh, Patreon subscribers that got to see it all. How amazing would that be? You have like an off season, but you keep doing it for those guys. Yeah, keep playing as a joke because that's what really happened. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we we can we start Movie Club a little bit early? Can yeah, we, all right. Can we, okay. can we get this out a little bit? <laughs> So, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I guys, start? for people Thank who watch you. this. I'm sorry. I'm, Thank you. I, I'm so sorry. 201, A Space Odyssey. That's, that's the movie, huh? 2001? 2001, yeah. sorry. I don't, why did I say 200? 2001, Space Odyssey, A Space Odyssey. That was the movie that we had to watch for this week's well, podcast. Well, you know, I just want to and... ask you, what do you have to say for yourself? <sighs> I mean, you've apologized, but I'm not actually sure it's enough. Because, I mean, you guys might have noticed, I've already talked to Matt about it today. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. The past two movie clubs, I had no say in whatsoever. <laughs> Goonies, Goonies was okay. All right, I'll give you that. It was okay. But was overall, good. you dragged us down here, didn't you? You dra- you knocked us down a peg. I kind of did. I'm not going to lie. I'm, so I'm not going to lie. Like- it, this, this was... All right, so th- this movie is basically... Um, classical music and a grown man breathing in your ear for two and a half hours. And I, I mean, random I can black get that screens as well. That's just a Friday night for me. So. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, no, all right. So for people who didn't watch it, okay, this this movie is like retrospectively seen as a classic. At the time, I have come to understand nobody liked it. So it's one of these like. I feel like Stanley Kubrick has this a lot where there's just like an air of film snob pretension. Okay. And it's like, oh, this is such a great movie. It's not a great movie. It's really not. It's got some interesting stuff. It was made in 67. All right. So, and it was set in 2001. So it's one of these movies where you can be like, oh, this is what they thought the future would be like. Right. Very and slow. <laughs> some of it's pretty on point as well. Right. Like, uh, no sound. Yeah. 
Well, no, you I know, like, uh, like, uh, well, it was weird because they had the TVs and they were all really terrible resolution and pixely and awful or whatever. But then they also had certain other things. It was like, oh, yeah, we actually do have those in real life. This is kind of interesting. Um, but then they had, like, everyone was eating food out of, like, cartons that they were drinking from and stuff. Anyway, so it basically the story is first you get 20 minutes with no dialogue, just looking at some monkeys set, like, uh, four million years ago. Mm-hmm. Just out in the uh, the African savanna. Do you want to have a bit of a discussion about that? Um, uh, so t- twenty minutes. So <laughs> in the beginning of the movie, for, first you get a long black screen. I don't know if in the theaters you got a long. Black oh yeah, screen. I forgot about that as well. Yeah, just a long black screen with some music playing, and then all of a sudden you see monkeys who are obviously people in in suits. In suits. Um, they did a good job. They did a good job. Um, I agree. I don't know how they did the the cheetah when the cheetah attacked the monkey because that looked yeah. Like a real do you think that was me. real? I reckon it was real and they just trained it. Yeah, because it was probably a bit a more lax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit crazy. I was like, oh snap, this guy's like about to get eaten. Like he better have some padding <laughs> <laughs> under that suit because it's gonna be GG. But um, it the, I feel like I, I misunderstood I like the movie. Right. Okay. First of all, I I I I felt like it was very long winded. I I really hope Interstellar is not this type of long winded, and I don't well, think it is. Why would you Why would you compare it to Interstellar? Because that's what, what people that? compare it to. Why? Really? I don't Do know they? why. I don't know why. Oh, don't even. There's no way. No, there's no way there to get. There's no way. I I know there isn't. I don't know why. I don't know. I saw it in an article, and I was like, what? Really? So that's why I wanted to watch it, and oh, then, okay. and then now when I'm, I watched it, I was like, "Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> it's nothing." There's <laughs> me, me and Matt were basically watching it together, almost like a maybe a yeah. ten minute delay on me, and uh, so we we were leaving little comments every now and then as stuff happened, and I swear. We were about an hour and a half through the movie, and I said to him, you know, if this was released now, we'd be about 20 minutes in. Literally, they spend 20 minutes, nothing happens, just looking at monkeys. I said, let's have a discussion about it. A discussion about what? It's, it's scandalous. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. I'm so, like, I, can't, I couldn't believe it. You, you you could say that it was, you know, <laughs> no, I was you can't say the anything. I was browsing the internet while it was on. <laughs> Why do you do this? Because it was so long. Nothing was going on. I was like, look, when dialogue actually... And then the mo- okay, and then the monkeys find... And this is pretty cool. There's such a long build-up to it. It is pretty cool. It is a bit of shock. They suddenly see like this black, smooth monolith thing. And they freak out, and the monkeys, right? They're primitive, and they hit it with a stone or, or some bones. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then we, we skip forward in time, don't we? Mm-hmm. Um, Way to the future. Uh, what is well, the, the point of... Um, in the past. Yeah, because it was only the year two thousand and one. That's why it's called two thousand and one. You see. Oh, hold up! What the monkeys were after? The monkeys were four. No, the monkeys were four million years ago, and then it skips forward, and we're in the year two thousand and one. And why are you saying? As they, as they thought it would be in nineteen sixty. Don't forget, the movie was made in the sixties. So they're like, right. this is what the year two thousand and one will be like. We'll be going to the moon. We'll have all this stuff. And, and eventually, the monkeys became became humans. Um, all right, so <laughs> King Kong <laughs> is not my grandfather. Um, 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 wow. Okay, so this big black thing is it? it what Monolith. is it exactly? Is See, it... now I read on Wiki it was supposed to be like. Uh, well, we find out in the movie that this thing is okay. It's from 1963. We can spoil this, right? Or six yeah, or seven. Yeah, yeah. Who's right. gonna watch this? Don't watch this. Don't. don't the, watch this, this monolith um, is supposedly from an alien race. Uh, there was one on Earth that the monkeys found four million years ago, and there was another one on the Moon in the year two thousand and one. These people find it, dig it up, and they go to experiment on it and look at it. And the the basically the story is chunked into four mini stories. One's monkeys. One's this uh, like guy trying to g- file a report on finding this monolith on the moon, and then they later explained that it was communicate. It was sending like a communication ray to Jupiter, and then it stopped making noise again. That's all we really know. There remain a mystery. I did read on Wiki that apparently originally, just before the film aired, they cut a scene where you can see one basically flying through the air as if it's a spaceship. Right. But that's the monolith. Like the whole story is, 
it's more of a thematic movie. Like, this is why there's a lot of snobbery and stuff around it, because you could say, oh, really, this this movie, though, on the surface, the story's kind of terrible. It's it's about humans coming to terms with the greater universe and how we think of the greater universe. And so it's like, hey, how do monkeys interact with it? How do these people now in the future humans interact with it and stuff and you get to like draw comparisons they hit it with rocks and all the humans form committees to research it and stuff like that i don't know it was okay so do you want to describe what happens after that after they find it on the moon then they, another they skip section? again they skip a sk- so from my perspective i thought that the black monolith like for some reason gave them knowledge Superpower? knowledge for some reason that that was mm-hmm. my thinking because after they found the black the black thing, um, black p- plank it, pl- plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie monolith just just go monolith. monolith. Well, I don't care. Um, <laughs> they he grabs he grabs the bone and starts like it it progressed. Oh, so the monkeys learned how to use tools because they found the monolith. Right, right. That's, That's what, what I thought at first. I don't know. I don't know. Like that yeah, was my thinking. Maybe you can say that. And yeah. then again. Um, when they found it on the moon and they jumped ahead, all of a sudden, like, I don't know, it seemed like they had better, like, have AI now. And so it's like, it's, I don't know, it seems weird. It could just be because they jumped in the future and not necessarily got smarter. Or no, got yeah, you might be more. right. Yeah, like, because did you notice as well? There's a lot of little things you can draw out in the movie. Did you notice that the, so the third story, so that everybody knows, um, is some guys going to Jupiter to check where this transmission went to, but they have these hyper intelligent computer AIs. And did you notice how these, and they suddenly have them here. Um, did you notice how the AI was basically the exact same shape yeah, and color exactly, exactly. of the monolith, except with a red dot on it? Yeah. Exactly. And that's what, that's what got me thinking like, Oh, is this because of the technology that they got from the monolith again? I don't know. Mm. Um, that's what I thought it was. And then the ending happened. I was like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so you're talking about the fourth story now. Well, hold yeah. on. The third story. Fin- is so- that a story? Is the fourth really a story? Or yeah, is it like an time- acid trip? Is someone no. just like <laughs> w- was just doing a lot of drugs? Like, is this a rock star's party back in the 90s? Like, what is this? Uh, okay. The third story is quite famous, very much referenced. Um, You guys may have heard of HAL 9000. So this big, uh, this computer AI that's in charge of the ship that's going to Jupiter ultimately um, starts just either malfunctioning or just developing its own emotions and personalities and ambitions. And it decides it wants everyone on the crew essentially dead. So it's these people fighting against HAL 9000, basically, right? And then that's the story. And it's pretty scary. It's pretty cold, right? Like, I can see why why it's a classic movie from that story. Yeah, that you know? story alone. Yeah, yeah. That that and it was all of this is dragged down, guys, by the fact that we get all right. So we're gonna reenact a scene in the movie here, Matt. Okay, you're gonna say two lines of dialogue to me, and I'm gonna say two to you. Okay. Right. Hey, hey, how's the spaceship doing, Matt? I am not at liberty to say that. Oh, uh, why are you not at liberty to say that? Because I'm not at liberty to say that. <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs> okay uh, for our, the next the 30 minutes <laughs> yeah it's like you get four lines of dialogue and then you have these ridiculously long scenes transition the entire movie is like this like no dialogue just constant exposition and i get back in the 60s maybe it was kind of interesting oh it's sci-fi and you know the the genre on the big screen was only just being birthed whatever right it doesn't hold up today i'm sorry it was boring <laughs> so these were my times to go back to reddit okay that's what those moments were for me it was like all right i'm gonna stop watching the movie just listen to it until i hear something's going on and i all almost right. missed one of the characters dying but yeah I, I i i did a similar thing i just fell asleep <laughs> until i heard a loud noise <laughs> you fell asleep what is this <laughs> no 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 i was dozing off though i was i was dozing off i was wow. like wow i just woke up this morning and I just keep dozing off. I'm like, man, this thing is that boring. It All is right. cuz it especially during uh, the third act where with that just a weird acid repairing trip, the machine. I, I don't <laughs> well, what no, that's is the this fourth story? Act. What is the story cuz I didn't read it up on wiki. What is well, that? see, this is the thing. This is what really disappointed me. Okay, so you guys are up to date. Basically, the guy ends up defeating Hal 
and he sings him a song or whatever and then it's like okay we're done he drifts through space and ends up at jupiter on his own and the fourth act begins and the fourth act is called like the universe and beyond and so this guy finds another monolith floating around in the space near jupiter so apparently the one that the one on the moon was communicating with whatever there's no dialogue at this point in the movie like we got what 40 minutes of the movie left at this point i don't think there's a single word spoken in the entire like sequence is there's there? heavy breathing yeah, maybe a lot of heavy breathing, a lot of like facial, oh, what's going on kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but basically, then he just interacts with the monolith. We have this huge long scene of just an acid trip. Matt's right. And then maybe this again was interesting. The special effects used to be interesting or whatever. But it's just boring. Just, oh, he's going through a wormhole. Oh, he's floating around. He's going through time. Ooh. And then he crash lands in, um, I think it's like French architecture, like... It looks like he's gone back to Earth, just suddenly, like he snapped back there. And he's in like this big mansion place, and the whole way through the movie, no one's really been eating real food. We've not ever seen like a green field or anything, right? We uh, Did you notice that? There was no like green life the entire way through the movie? Even when it was set on Earth with the monkeys, they chose to set it in a, like a desert kind yeah. of place. But so, now we're finally at like a place that looks fairly human. But he's just there in his space pod, just in a building. And it's like, what's this? And it just gets really surreal. And then he explores the building. He sees different versions of himself throughout his life. Um, then he's an old man in his bed. And then he looks up and he sees the monolith again. He points at the monolith. It cuts to black. Then all of a sudden, he is the moon. The moon is a giant baby. And he's looking at Earth. He's he's not joking, guys. He's then, not then joking. the credits roll. That's <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> and there's no, re- there's no understanding to any of it. It's just meant to get there's, you vaguely there's no thinking about the universe. There's crazy theory. Like, I need... I feel like it's not There will be yet. crazy theories. I feel theories. like I'm still watching the movie because there is no ending. I just well, saw a giant baby. Uh, even well, the baby took a long time to show on the screen. I'm like, yeah. what the hell? Why did I make this movie? I'm glad I experienced it, though, guys. I'm I'm really glad. Yeah, I, like, I, yeah. how was refer- is referenced a lot, right? The baby is really iconic. Everyone talks about the baby. It's referenced all over the place. I've seen it constantly. Never actually seen the movie, though. So it's good to have seen it. But, like, yeah. you know how... I, I get why people would talk about this a lot after it came out because it's like, we're, it's what we're doing, right? We're like, what was the story? You know, maybe you can really sit down. If you have loads of respect for Stanley Kubrick um, and you really buy into him as this this genius guy that was so meticulously detailed on all of his movies, then yeah, maybe you can speculate about this and feel good. But I don't buy that he was some absolute creative genius and had all this control <laughs> and had all these deep meanings that are there. I just think it's this weird thing. The worst thing to me was... Do you know what? Do you know that the the movie is actually based on something? On what? It's based on short stories that another writer did. But it's not even just one short story. It's like loads of different short stories. And so when he made this movie, he literally just jumbled a bunch of short stories up, chopped and changed stuff. You know, it almost seems willy nilly, and I'm sure people would crucify me for saying something like that. Um, and then it was just sort of all dumped together in this movie that's supposed to make you think about stuff. I'm so and worried because we're we're just ripping on this old movie. I mean, we're. we're I mean, there's going to be fans, and there's going to be people who like to think that they're intellectuals and think that they know a lot about film and that this speaks to hey. them on some level. <laughs> but I'm sorry, as what he said. as a normal movie to watch, okay, you can take it to that level, I'm sure. But it's not a good movie. I'm sorry. Had some good stuff, like I, the third act was pretty good. If. Fair. I, 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 there's a threshold. Like, if my wife can suffer through it, it's, a, it's, it, you know, <laughs> it's okay. She would not, she would not be able to watch but it. But she fell asleep with something, didn't she? What did she fall asleep to that I was so upset she did? Oh, she, she, I was very upset again. that she fell asleep during Wally. But this was like before we yeah, got married. Yeah, what is that? I dude? almost, I almost didn't marry her because of that. And The Dark Knight Rises. It, but she was tired and all that. I was like, okay, whatever. But I almost didn't marry her. I was like, you don't fall asleep during Wally and and don't don't you dare say Wally is a bad movie. Wally okay. is very similar to this movie. Think about it. Very little dialogue, spaceships, oh, robots. Let's don't 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 don't. Isn't all sci-fi ultimately the same? Oh gosh. <gasps> uh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's a little too convincing. <laughs> Oh my god. That's what happens when you take um, part time acting classes. All right. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to pick the next movie, okay? Right. All right. And you said you had a story to go along with it. Well, a bit of a story. Uh, me and my guildies, we uh, all watched this movie together last night. I had a bit of a stressful day yesterday, as Matt's already together. heard all about. Together? 
How? Yes. Like through we all like, got, Skype? We all, we all got the movie, and then we all had it on our hard drives, and then we all pressed play at the exact same time. We went three, two, one, and then we watched it, chatting to each other. Oh, it was man. really good. I, I it was wanted awesome. That, like, Xbox had this feature way back for 360 that they never added, where you're supposed to be able to have, like, a, a, a party movie thing. Where you could go into a party and then someone will load up a movie and you all watch it at the same time. And I thought that would be amazing at the time. But, yeah, they never came out with it. Yeah. I wish stuff like Teams features had features like that where you could just stream stuff like that. That would be so cool. Yeah. I mean, Skype's sort of moving there with the share screens thing. But imagine just being able to do that into a room of, like, 20, 30 people. Be badass. Anyway, so um, the movie we're watching, I'm going to seem like such a degenerate here. You know, uh, <laughs> pooping all over Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. And now recommending, we're going to watch Pokemon the movie 16. Um, oh, that's kind of far up there. 16. Yeah, po- Pokemon the movie 16. And uh, it's called um, Genesect and the Legend Awakened. Okay. Uh, okay, to, to explain this, we oh. watched uh, Pokemon the movie 17, which is the most recent Pokemon movie. How many movies have they made? It's crazy. A lot. A lot. I, men- I mentioned that I love that. Like, I don't really consider myself to be one of these people that loves Japan and, you know, gets all hyped and stuff over it and thinks it's so much better than our culture or whatever. But <laughs> don't you think it is pretty cool that in Japan, something like Pokemon can have 17 movies that release in theaters? And have people go and watch them and get hyped about them and still turn profit and there's still like enough of a fan base for that. Don't you think that is kind of cool? Um, and cartoons, no less. I, I could imagine Call of Duty being one of those franchises. There's no way anyone could ever release 17 movies in the US. All of them re- released theatrically. All of them get a big outturn. All of them have a fan base. It just doesn't happen, does it? Let's be real. People are already saying Probably the movies not. are terrible by the third one, usually. It's so rare to get a third it's, good sequel. It's because they're tied to the video game. If it wasn't for the video game, nobody would watch would watch Pokemon. Are, are, All right. Are they, All are, right. Are they good? But movies. Are they good? Are you, are you throwing me to a, like the dogs? Well, no, no, no. Okay, so I want to ask you. Right. I mean, this came about because we were talking for so long about... Uh, Pokemon for hours and hours and hours and eventually we were like we really want to play some Pokemon or watch some Pokemon I just casually looked up the movies how many movies this is my question to you first how many Pokemon movies have you seen before oh man I used to watch them way back yeah before did you get super into anime a lot of things uh, when I was a kid I still have my Pokemon cards um, yeah a lot of them um, did you watch the first movie yeah yeah absolutely uh, okay probably the second movie the first five maybe and then I started watching, I, I downloaded like a collection of them, like at the beginning of the year. And I was like, oh, I'm going to watch them all just be, even if they're bad. And I never got to it. I never got to it. Well, the it. other thing that the movies tend to do good is they release, they show Pokemon before they've even come out in the games. Like their first glimpses at certain new Pokemon from yeah. future generations and stuff. But yeah, so, I mean, I watched quite a few of them. I remember years ago. Um, I watch Pokemon 1, 2, and 3 a lot. So the first one with Mewtwo, the second one with the legendary birds and Lugia, the third one with Entei and the Unknown, right? right. And then a few years ago, I watched loads of them. I like marathoned them. And back then, they were only up to like 13 or whatever, which was like up till Di- Diamond and Pearl. This was so. This was like 2010, I guess, I, I did this marathon. Nice. And I looked, there's so many now. So there's 17. I watched 17 last night. It was okay. It was basically like a long episode. This thing was only an hour long, all right? And that includes credits, so it wasn't that long at all. So you don't have to worry that much. Um, but uh, I, I'm definitely watching 16 next because it's got Mewtwo in it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the animation in it is really good as well. I, I mean, if you're really into Pokemon... Easy. So it, it's kind of like uh, the animation for X and Y. Did you see that short animation? Um, no, I, but... It was pretty awesome. I was like, they, whoa. They really go at all out. Like, so, like, uh, even when it's just a scene where not not very much is happening, people are just talking, you can constantly look in the background and you see all the characters in the background are animated and having conversations with one another. There's so many Pokemon now. They'll have all these different varieties of Pokemon in the background just wandering around, like, out in the wild or in the cities. You see different types. Uh, trainers with their Pokemon wandering around. It's beautifully animated. And then they have, like, these big, like, CGI scenes and decent explosions and stuff. It was really, really very pretty to look at. And um, for that reason alone, I kind of enjoyed it. The story of Seven Team was kind of rubbish. It was about like this fairy that wanted to build a big crystal. It was about the legendary. How's the voice acting for Ash? It's changed a lot. 
Yeah. But um, uh, so you're gonna have to get used to that, I suppose. All of his companions are different. You're probably, if you're unless you're still watching the anime, you're not gonna know any of the Pokemon he's got with him except Pikachu. But uh, you know, I actually didn't mind. I had fun. So I was like, I'm definitely watching this. And then the podcast came up today, so I was like, yeah, uh, we're it doing makes it. no sense. Pikachu should be like level 100 and. Well, it's so know. powerful as well. Like it competes on par with le- uh, like with enemy legendaries and stuff in the movie I just watched. So I think they do make out that it's stupidly strong. Then why why can he be beaten by like other stuff? Well, because other be stuff is him? powerful. You, uh, one of the only things that I really have a lot of respect for with the anime, I think the anime, especially the first season, was some of the best stuff I've seen. Yeah. Like, but. But one of the things I, ha- I continue to have a lot of respect for is the fact that he's not infallible. Uh, that he's not like this perfect guy that wins all the leagues and stuff. Like he can lose, and they do change things a bit. Did you you know Meowth from Team Rocket? Did you know that he completely left Team Rocket at one point in the story and started traveling with Ash and stuff? What? Yeah, and Team Rocket changed their outfits and actually it got a bit darker and they got a, a, a lot more competent and they started trying a lot harder and they were more villainous. And now they're sort of back to a bit more to what they used to be like. Yeah, Hold stuff's up. changed. I, 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 I stopped watching um, when they changed the voice actor for Ash. And, like, I just noticed that Team Rocket was almost in every single episode. And I thought that was extremely annoying. Um, well, I, I think you can't really watch that much Pokemon without... I mean, if you don't like Team Rocket in every episode, then you're just not going to like the show, are you? Because that, that got, was like that got repetitive for yeah. I don't know. Like when I was young, I haven't watched it now. Yeah, I don't know how it is now. There's a lot of filler, but that oh, yeah. that that series, if you watch it all, it makes you want to go on an adventure. I remember marathoning so much of it. I think it's amazing when it ends with like the big fight with Gary at the uh, the Silver Conference and stuff, which is basically the first season just before he goes to Hoenn. All that stuff is insane. It's so good. Do you think we should stop talking about Pokemon because they're probably, not probably. Pokemon fans? <laughs> probably. Well, probably. there you they're go. Like, did they just go on a rant for like? I don't know how long. So what you been Dude, doing, man? Good. Um. All right. Okay. We both know what we've been doing. We both know what we've been playing. Right. We've both got opinions, probably. We've been Haloing it up, haven't we? Yes. That's what we've been doing. Yes. We've been playing the Halo Master Chief Collection. So I, I went. All right. All right. All right. Let me tell a story. Let me tell a story of the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> the day. All right. So so, <laughs> I was going to the the midnight release at Geek Stop. For um for Halo re- uh Halo Master Chief Collection, uh which is for people who don't know is Halo one two three and four all remastered 1080p 60 FPS glory awesomeness every map ever yes it's 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 all it's the DLC huge. all the PC exclusive stuff yeah, all multiplayer for each Halo it's 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 if you grew up with Halo it's a must buy basically um so or a must play anyway um so i i went to uh walgreens to get some medication i need to get some med- uh, i need to refill some oh medication. you're dragging it down don't no, talk about right, your meds all right, what is this? all right Rel- relax relax so, booze. So, all right, as that's i was what getting my do. medication i realized um something was right by my wife's purse and i was like what, what the heck is that? And I turned my head a little bit under the chair. It was a roach. I mean, it was like a daddy long legs mixed with a humongous, I don't know. It was in her purse. No, it was it was getting to her purse. So I oh. grabbed her purse. Okay. Um, no, 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 I didn't do that first. I, I walked to her. I walked to, I walked to my wife and I was like, babe, look, look, you see that? See that right there? You see that roach right there? <laughs> she went, get my purse, please. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but it was like, I get our purse, and then it starts moving around. So I get my, I'm, I'm about to get my, um, my medication from the from the woman, and she says, she's like, what is that? And I'm like, <laughs> and this other guy comes around, and the other guy was like, oh, that's a roach. And then she, <laughs> meanwhile, this white guy comes. From the aisle, right, and oh, starts no. looking as well. Like, what is, what the heck is going on? And right. she hands me some type of spray. I didn't look what it was. She's like, "Can you spray it for me?" What? <laughs> Why are you spraying it? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me clarify. The pharmacist that was giving me, <laughs> giving me my pills, hand me a bottle. And told me to spray it in Walgreens. In the middle of Walgreens. 
Was it like one of these big white bottles that's got a big yellow warning on it with like a bug that's got been crossed out and it's like I, I didn't even killer. look at it. I just I just I did the 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 side gangster hold and oh did you and oh, squeezed it. He? Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, and he just went right into the baskets and I'm like, oh, he's gone. And I just took my stuff and left. And the white you guy was like, the white guy was looking like, okay, that just happened. And he just walks right back into the aisle. Like <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it, dude. <laughs> it was but amazing. I, I don't understand though. Why does this? What you were talking about, Halo MCC? I know this was my journey there. Also, oh, okay. All also, right. what okay. happened? Also, what happened? <laughs> In the Halo Master Chief collection, I there was a big something. bug. <laughs> it like. It, would you be embarrassed to fall down in front of people? Like, really, like... I think anyone who says no to that question is lying to you. <laughs> All right. So, I was... Uh, oh, I was... you didn't fall over, did you? <laughs> okay. No, no. All right. So, I was walking with my wife, and this is what happens in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, around this time. All right? So, this guy on the skateboard seemed, seemed to keep... Like, he seemed like he couldn't ride a skateboard. Or he was drunk. I don't know. Or high. <laughs> or high. He didn't smell all, all like... Three. Yeah. I don't know. Or all at the same time. Um, And um, he started... He kept stopping and going, stopping and going. There was this guy that walked up to him. And he's like... Mm -hmm. I didn't hear what he was saying. But he stopped him. But I thought they knew each other. Okay. But they didn't. Because he started stopping and talking to another guy, too. And I'm like, what is going on? You, you the homeboy is selling what, drugs, what right? But wait, so the guy, I'm like, I'm like, why would he go up to him? But he didn't come to us. And I'm like, oh, and it, so he, he, the guy tried to rise, ride on his skateboard in front of us, goes in front of us, completely busses oh. his behind on the floor in front of us. <laughs> I mean. Oh my gosh! Do you need stitches? Type of bust, uh, like boom, really? <laughs> in front of us, dude. Dude, why does like just chaos descend around you as you're walking around outside? All your stories, like all these people injuring themselves, breaking out of prison, cars crashing, just as you wander about. Dude, so much stuff happened. So much stuff happened this night. I don't. I don't want to continue telling you a bunch of stuff but those are the two eventful things i'm like wow this is why this is why because last time I, I was walking in in you know after midnight in atlanta i saw like a couple big black dudes just just in some nice tights okay like straight up bikinis and all that wow okay uh, oh no, no no my bad um um transvestites transvestites Transgender, what? Trans what? transgenders. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, what's what's the difference between all of them? Yeah, yeah. So they had boobs well, too. People... By the way, they had boobs, but they were really tall black guys. It was it was weird. It was weird. But there's a it's lot of crazy things. I I grabbed a skateboard before they went onto the road and get ruined. Um, and I was like, "You okay?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah." Anyways, we we get to and Halo. then the roach came back. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went to go get Halo and I brought it back. Um, brought it back home, just to well, find that was out an uneventful trip that it had the longest download. Yeah, very yeah, uneventful dude. Trip. The longest you made download a mistake. ever. Okay, and I understand. I understand that's you know it's a huge game, right? Probably every Xbox One owner has bought this game. Let's be honest. Did you you've heard the the whole story with this right before release and like the contro mild controversy that came out? No, no, no. So, but it, it is so huge. They've combined not even four games together. They've combined um, like five, maybe even six games if you consider all the revamped stuff, all the DLC and whatever, right? Um, so it's so huge. They had a choice when they're making the game. Do we we it over? It went over the capacity of the of the disc. So they're saying, right, what do we do? Do we have one disc or two discs? If they split it into two discs, it 
kills matchmaking and playlists and stuff like you're gonna have to swap discs constantly it ruins it they wanted the whole experience on one disc so they were 20 they had 20 gig of extra stuff that they needed to have so you put the disc in and you still have to download another 20 gig afterwards anyway so it's like it it's it's us getting to that point dude where it's like optical stuff you know like using discs it, we're moving further and further away as time goes like even now you buy the physical copy of the game you still have to sit there and download most of it yeah or a good chunk of it you know like we're, we're moving beyond the point where buying stuff physical is is going to be a big and so they they were very open about it they said look you either get on two discs or one or and a big patch and we were thinking you know the patch is the best thing but what did i do do you want to tell everyone how i got the game yeah you downloaded it download baby <laughs> all the way one minute after 12 o'clock hit play no messing about. That's the way it's done. Nah, Every, man. I, I have to have the box, man. I like I like my physical copy. I yeah, need to be able to, to touch it. I Yu-Gi-Oh, need to be able right? to lick it. I need to be able to put it in my mouth. You used to play Yu-Gi-Oh, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. So, like any good Yu-Gi-Oh player did, you used to go online, download, uh, print off cards, and then <laughs> fake it and put them on your... Why can't you use those skills for your video games from now on? Well, well, that didn't cost sixty dollars. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. So you want to spend the sixty dollars? <laughs> Wait, oh, by guess... spending sixty dollars, I want to make sure that I'm getting a physical copy. I'm okay. weird. Right. I it, it's right. the same thing. It's just like with Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, when I was requesting a review copy, I was like, "Do I get one for Xbox One or do I get one for P- PC?" Yes, I do like my sixty FPS, but you wanted, also, you really you wanted the physical copy that bad. You went for Xbox. Um, no, no, no. I, I, I asked for whatever one was available because I want it. The guarantee, I want it early so I can actually get the review out next week. Uh, because yeah, going, it's man? a big game. I, they haven't said anything. I'm not big enough. <laughs> I'm not big enough, guys. Like that. That's just that's just it. You know, like people, people, people want you know a million subscribers and they're like oh yeah sure we'll do this and jump backwards just for you to review your game and whatever but attached you know, that- in the description is a form you guys can fill out to brute force their servers and send them lots of emails requesting <laughs> a review copy for that right i'm just trying to get it out early so people can actually see my review early instead of it being like a week later yeah um, no it, may- it makes sense it's you know. yeah it, you know it's just it, yeah but I'm going to be to- totally brutally honest. So if that makes me not get a review copies anymore, then oh well. But I'm pretty well, sure look, you're people not, still get you, you can't have copies. integrity now. Huh? You're supposed to get integrity later. you gotta, you got to lose your integrity for now, right? <laughs> Do all the debauched, terrible stuff to get the review copy, and then you can pick it up later. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, absolutely. You can't <laughs> have values when you're trying to grow big. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's how a lot of people think. Sadly, it's oh it's my true, gosh! Dude. I was I was just listening to a podcast and how people think about um, putting games on their channel. Like it's like oh oh I was just it, someone was asking uh, Jesse Cox oh um, a PR company oh can we uh, send you a copy um, of this game? We just want you to check it out. You can do whatever you want with it. Blah blah. blah. You can make a video. You don't make a video. You know we just hand it to you. And a very chill, relaxed, how it should be, right? Not like, oh, you know, you need to be happy and you you can only do it in this environment and blah, blah. You know, we'll fly you out and give you food. Um, So they go, um, so he says, yeah, yeah, sure. And then he gives other YouTuber names, right? And the the other names that he's given... Um, the PR PR guy goes to these other guys, and they ask for like three thousand dollars. Three wait, wait, you lost me. What do you mean YouTuber names? Like other YouTubers. Sorry, other YouTubers. Try and use that same group. Other yeah, so nice. other YouTubers that do the same thing that would like a free copy because the PR guy, um, he knew Jesse Cox. Um, asked him like, oh, who who else would want to you know to spread the game or whatever. You know, just okay. You know, here it is, blah blah. blah. And uh, he gave him a few names. The PI guy, the PR guy, goes to a bunch of guys and asks them about it, and they were asking for money. And I'm like, damn. 
I'm like, damn, three thousand dollars to show your game on my website? No, dude, I, 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 I forget the point of. I don't know. I'm weird. I, I, I forget that we're just doing this because we like games. I, I forgot that this was a job. Yes, I, I gotta play bills. Of course, I gotta pay bills. But dang, I'm not gonna turn away a free game just because, especially if a guy's being that nice and be like, oh, you, there's no rules or strings attached. Oh, you can't have it on the channel because blah, 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 blah. Like, that's so weird. And I don't know. The reason why I bring it up is like, man, I'm a smaller channel. I would I would love to to, to get a game and see what happens, you know? Mm. Yeah. You know, and see, like, if I don't like it, I don't like it. But it's still press, regardless if I like it or dislike it. You know, it's just weird. It's Do just you weird how YouTube ba- works, man. Do you believe the old saying that any press is good press, even if it's bad? I... I do think so because the difference between getting no press at all and getting press, like for for instance, indie games, I, I guess it's different situations for different things. But I, I I still do believe all all press is still good press because people See, know who you are. Like who who knew who knows Paris Hilton for being Paris Hilton? See, but the thing Nobody. is, like I Nobody. I think. At least with YouTube and, like, video games and stuff, I don't know. One thing that I always think about with that is, like, do you remember when the cam girls were, like, spamming out videos all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, so for people that don't know, they were women that would literally just post 30-second videos in responses to big gaming videos. So yeah. you'd have, like, someone puts out this hugely successful video. Yogscast. And then they just do, yeah, like like a Yogscast video. Then they'll do, like, a, a response where they just sit there in a low-cut top so in the thumbnail, nail, you get these lovely boobies you can look at. You click it, and uh, she just spouts some nonsense, and then the video ends. And because men are so stupid, they would constantly click it. These guys, would, these girls would get huge, yeah. lots of traffic, and ultimately get a lot of money. But everyone hated them, and so that's that. The only press they were getting was bad press, and then they just they they were there for a little while, but then they just fell into oblivion, didn't they? So I don't know. I feel like bad press there- is bad press. You don't want it. There yeah. were there were some people who did that. There weren't reply girls, but they did get popular from it. So is uh, you remember you remember Vsauce? You were yeah. weren't you the one telling me that he yeah, used to he... do some shady stuff to get big? Yeah, he did. If you look at like Vsauce is one of my most favorite channels. I love it. I love the content that they put out there. It's really really cool. But if you do look at the earliest videos that they ever do. Um, they were like uh, top 10 video games and it's presented by women in bikinis and stuff and it's all just, you know, his pandering and whoring to get views. That's the thing though. They they didn't really have any values early just so that they'd get noticed, but then they cut it out pretty quickly, you know? If they were still just doing stuff like that, I don't know. I feel like maybe the hate would overwhelm them. Oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm sure. well, once he got an audience, it didn't matter at that point. He just cut... Uh, cut so what, you're saying what, the Reply he, Girls... Yeah, he did what he did to to get an audience and then he can just actually do his what he'd been wanting to do and then he got his ethics back see yeah yeah it's it's just that he's i i don't want to do that (laughs) i don't want to do that i don't want to i i'm I'm quite fine with the audience i've had and the loyalty that i have right now. here's something though yeah all right here's something that might give you comfort if you're ever and this will this goes to everyone listening okay if you're ever uneasy about trying something or you're scared of failing or whatever right just remember in a year no one will even remember that you tried. All right? So what I'm saying to you, Matt, is maybe do put some naked ladies on the thumbnails. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it does, there you go. I'm, I'm, In a year, no one will care that you tried. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That that will break everything that I stand for. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 do you like uh, a video I don't about think misogyny? I, yeah, and, uh, like it just it will just break everything. It would make no sense. It, my, my words would mean nothing. I'm straight. I'm straight. <laughs> totally straight. Anyways, we're talking about Halo. So after we actually did the long install, the um, there's a few problems. Okay, the what achievements don't I, pop I, there's up. There's no problems at all. The achievements don't pop up when you go into co-op campaign. Whoever isn't the host is extremely laggy. This is a uh, network co-op, though. Yeah, not. Speaking. Yeah, network co-op, not it's local, like, not local. Yeah, yeah. So the net code is broken, and then matchmaking takes forever to not even playing at all. You're basically just playing the loading screens, yes, and the uh, just the lobby. You're just sat in the lobby. 
Yes, except you don't have like one of those uh, loading screens games like uh, in Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit where you can like combine all the Dragon Balls and let it burst. Well, I started playing this cool game on my phone recently called Farmville. Oh, and I thought that Farmville was really good for while you were waiting to matchmake in a Halo you MCC. You are not playing Farmville. <laughs> no. You are not uh, playing Farmville. That, that, is that still a thing? Yeah, Farmville is a thing. Come on. Is that so? I dude, I remember yeah. when my wife. That's all she were. She that's all she played. All she played, dude. All she played is Farmville. It's a classic game. They'll look back on that and call that a video gaming classic in twenty years. Think about it. No. It if two thousand and one, a Space Odyssey is now a classic. I'm telling you, Farmville has easily got what it takes. Easily. And all the clones. Yep. All Absolutely. the clones right after it, and then all uh, right. Interstellar is a clone. Yeah, let's with go. with that with the Halo MCC thing though, right? I made, I I played it all local. I'm very happy I did. Ultimately, uh, it was amazing. And when you get the games, holy da! Ah, the only thing that really upsets me about Xbox Live now is it seems like somewhere around 2010, 2011, people just stopped using their mics or they're permanently in party chat instead of in lobbies. So you don't get this cool experience you used to have, where you know you'd yeah. go into a Halo game and there'd be a guy, you know chatting smack someone else playing celine dion down the mic whatever like people just having fun and generally just they're being community and something to talk about like i was in there i was rocking the headset and uh you know trying to you know have some fun and talk to people and stuff but you just never get any response at all what happened and, what I know. happened i i used to play gears of war religiously religiously yeah. and of, of course halo 3 and i i just talk we just talk smack with each other all the time it made the game fun not even so smack, fun. just talking, just people being there and around about and having a presence. You and, know? You, you, and you would meet people that you would play for hours and, and hours and hours with after and they actually become friends. Yeah. You remember the main difference that people used to say about why uh, PS3 versus Xbox 360 and the, the the networking and they're like, oh, well, you have to pay for Xbox Live. And it's like, yeah, well, huh. PS3's online and stuff is terrible and dead. But one of the main arguments always was that Xbox had all this conversation, people using mics and, you know, actual interaction, right? That was always a huge thing. I'm and so mm. the game's awesome, but... What, you don't agree with that? No, I really, really agree with that. Yeah, Dude, right? Dude, like... PS3 was crap online. I And people, I would hear people, it, the UI, everything. It, people would, like, try to defend the PS3. No, I had both, and I don't and I don't care about the console war either. I could give two craps if you're, you're a Sony fanboy or, P, or Xbox fanboy. But <laughs> Xbox 360 was just far superior. They had party chat. They had everything. 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 It, it, the console actually came with something you'll put on your ear to talk with people. And you had to get it like a Bluetooth. I, mm. I never use Bluetooth. They, they hurt my ears. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, So, did you find that as well, though, when you actually got in games? Like, matchmaking's improving no, no one so talks. far? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Uh, yeah, go it ahead. just sucks. I don't know. I, I, I had a lot of fun in the games. It was so fun to be able to play Halo combat evolved stuff those pc maps and actually oh it was amazing but the you know i felt a bit sad that the community wasn't there i've been buzzing on halo a lot because i can't play it at the moment so i'm like looking online at like uh, what discussions like and god damn the people in that community i know you should never judge a whole community they're made up of individual people you should be judged individually right and that's something i believe very strongly however when I just read general talk about Halo right now, people act like it's the end of the world. Like 343 is the absolute devil, that there's never been a bad uh, AAA launch of a game before, that they are absolute demons and this is the worst thing that could ever happen, that Halo is completely mm. dead. Just because matchmaking isn't working right now, that it's the worst game ever, it should get 0 out of 10. Like, And it's just relentless. And I understand people saying you shouldn't forgive a company for having a botched launch, but people think that they just rushed out, that they expected matchmaking to be broken, that they were shipping what they already knew was a damaged product, and they just don't understand right. that A, devs in general don't do that, in general, but B, that netcode and matchmaking is incredibly complicated and difficult, and... Um, you know, the, the the result that they had when they came out, they clearly weren't expecting. And it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm old enough now to understand to not get up in a hissy fit, uh, you know, a botched launch. You just come to expect yeah, it, Yeah, right? I had work to do, so I just moved on until... until right, you know? Like, it's and, just like, okay, whatever. It, I, I want to play, 
But uh, but people are crying. This is unacceptable and stuff. I just look at people leaving these comments, and I I just think. I'm I'm too old for this now. If this was the first game that I was super really excited for and getting in on launch and stuff, but we saw this with Halo 2, we saw it with Halo 3, we see it with pretty much any franchise out there, and at least 343 is putting out constant updates saying, hey, look, guys, this is the problem. We're trying to help it. You know, we had a contingency plan. It is running on de dedicated servers, but because of issues, we've swapped to peer to peer right now, and this is also got its own issues. To, you know, they're explaining stuff and they're they've apologised. It's much better than you see from other companies, and it's just like, why are you complaining? Just don't play for a couple of weeks. And then it will be all the juiciness that you want it to be, right? Yeah, pe people. Yeah, pe people are gonna be like that because I mean. Did you did you yeah. see all the terminals, by the way? D did I what steal? Did you see all the terminals? Oh yeah, yeah. I was collecting um a few of them in Halo Two. Yeah, the, the, yeah. So they added even. This is the thing. Like they add even more. So there's now Halo Two terminals too. Yeah, they're all online. Oh, it's so good. The extra stuff you get. Out of it them. was a little broken though. It, it wasn't. Working it was properly. broken. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it was, was a little broken. We found <laughs> yeah. the, like a few of them, and back then when the achievements were working properly, and it, it's weird. Like y you can't use like the skulls and get the achievements at the same time. I thought that was so frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. So I never really tried the skull stuff. Our achievements were working just fine as well, from what I could see. Oh, 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 we there, played all a... the campaign stuff. It was smooth as butter. It was only matchmaking that was an issue for me. Yeah, I, I, I play with my friends, so you know, with a, with a group of two or three, and it was just, it was just laggy. It was bad. It was really bad. Yeah. It really affects. It, I mean, of course, it's amazing to look at and play, but it really affects the the overall enjoyment of the game when it's just Dude. so broken. So I, I didn't want it to be, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't want it to mess up my, my nostalgia. So I just kind of sat back and waited a couple of days to play it again. It still hasn't yeah. been fixed now. I, I played it last night and it still hasn't been fixed. So they say they're going to update everything after like, I think next week. And that should like do it. But they, they haven't proved it though. It used to take forever or not at all, but now it, you can actually get into a few matches. And I did actually hear a few people talking, um, which was weird. I got one person talking. I Because I was mic'd up constantly every game. I was like, basically the other problem right now is because they allow you to vote on the map, which sounds like a good thing. Everyone gets to play the map they really want. There's very little variety because all people care about, for whatever reason, is Slayer BRs. That's all they care about. Oh, BR on Halo 2 and Halo... Well, mostly Halo 3 maps. It's like, come on! What? This wasn't even that long ago. Pick some damn Halo Combat Evolved. Let's get in there. Let's do the new maps that you've never oh, played Oh, that's all we before. picked. That's, that's all what, we I, picked. So that's what I was telling everyone on the mic. And like, hang them high, mention, dude. Yeah! Oh, there's so many good Hang maps. Hang them but... high. Dude, me and my friend destroyed. There's not one match we played on Combat Evolved that we didn't destroy. Completely destroy. On. Oh, I love that pistol. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. From across the map, man. Yeah. This is how oh. we do, man. I, I, I grab my invisibility. I go up, get the rocket launcher, and just wreck. Oh, my gosh. It's so satisfying to get that rocket launcher kill. Um, from like across across the way, you're like because they oh, move so slow in yes. Halo One as well. Yeah, they don't. They're, you can't sprint. You There's can't no sprint. lock on. Yeah, through one through three, you can't sprint. So it's boom, baby. <laughs> oh man, it's so it's so good. It's okay. So yeah. Halo as a game, um, without the the network issues that they're having is amazing. It's great, but the network issues are they're game breaking. They're really. Really yeah, well, bad. you just can't play really at the moment. That's the thing. Yeah, I was getting maybe four games an hour peak, which was okay. I think people have struggled a lot more than that. But you know, it is like, oh, I'm matchmaking for 15 minutes now. What to do? You know? Yeah, it's and so uneven time teams wasting. and stuff. Well, when you're used to just constantly doing stuff throughout the day, it's kind of hard to just like sit there and look at a loading screen. You know what would have been really good to have done while playing Halo MCC? Watching 2001 Space Odyssey, because it probably links up all the, the nonsense, the long transitions and stuff <laughs> when nothing's happened. That's why you're playing your match, and then you go back to matchmaking while there's actual dialogue and stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll be within one transition once you found the match, played it, and found another match. Watch the whole movie before another match comes. Oh my gosh, it's so... If you so if long. you listen to the QQ, uh, yeah, all right. Oh, do you want to do you want to move on? Yeah, yeah. One thing I want to say though, I didn't finish my thought when I was like, oh, I wanted a physical copy. 
Um, I asked for both, but it, it goes to show I like being able to get a copy of a game and, and it and it worked. It's it's so it's so funny that we're talking about Halo being broken right now, but that's online issues. That's not the game. <laughs> but uh, Inquisition. Like, when you saw uh, Assassin's Creed Unity with all the issues and messed up hair and, and, and eyeballs and tongue sticking out, if you guys haven't seen all those little funny videos that they made of all the glitches, um, like, it gets me scared. Like, I, I have a decent system to run this stuff on, but I don't want to have to deal with that. Sometimes you just kind of want to, I don't know, put in a disc and just play it. I don't know if I don't know if anyone will sympathize with me any out there because they're, most of us are, are PC master race, which I am too. But <laughs> race, race, race. Uh, oh, that sound makes it like you have moles all over your face. Um, Origin master race. I'll go one further. Oh, oh gosh. I um, play I play Origin games on Linux only. <laughs> that's a sad world. No, so no Guild Wars Two anymore. No, I'm I'm running that on Wine, so it works, and I just hacked it to work on Origin. Trust me, I got it all sorted out. Uh, amazing, amazing. Do you also live in your parents' basement? No, I live in their attic. Okay, and <laughs> do they throw your food like to like a little door? <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, it's a little lift actually. Literally means I never have to leave. <laughs> never have to leave. Oh, that may- that reminds me, audio adventure. Audio adventure. I can um, just imagine the... like all the bottles of pee that you have in your attic. We're we're skipping the iTunes review because I reinstalled my PC and uh, I don't have iTunes installed. Don't, don't say you skip it. Well, there probably wasn't one on there anyway. Let's be real here, okay? Uh, you're saying that we're not growing. We're growing. Well, we're no, doing I'm this. No, saying, with... I'm saying it's a feature. It's like cheap as chimps, all right? People aren't interested in it, okay? Cheap. <laughs> As chimps. Cheap as chimps was a failed feature on the Ricky Gervais podcast. Amazing. Which I've been listening to a lot of lately. There you go. There's my audio adventure. So we set up some criteria last uh, last week for this. Do you want to go over that with everyone? Uh, you can go ahead with that when I uh, download this. Okay. Are we doing the uh, the arbitrary? I, d- I don't remember. Did you leave this section in last week? When what we section? transfer it? You know, when no, we're not doing no. anything. You no. cut it out. Oh, what is that? Okay. All right. Well, so audio adventure last week, um, you know, I stepped up. I said that I thought it was a bit bad uh, that we weren't putting much effort in anymore. That it was a far cry from the original vision of the audio adventure of having adventures out there in the real world, you know, where the sun is and stuff. And so um, basically we decided we were going to set up some rules, weren't we, Matt? Yes. We said that it had to be outside and it had to have interaction with another person while we were outside, all right? It's a little bit harder to do, but uh, but I think I've come through with flying colors. Uh, 30 minutes, 20. It's, right. go- it's going down, you know You know how Skype. Okay. You gotta rev all the right. engine a little bit. Mm-hmm. Get, you know, let it get warm. Yeah? That's disgusting, Matt. What? <laughs> let it get warm. Now I'm just thinking of people pee themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff that we cut out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the <laughs> heck is that? <laughs> yeah. Now, this is just unfair. Uh, no, no, no. It was supposed to be really easy, okay? It was uh, supposed uh, to be really easy. Interaction with another person. I don't hear nobody else. Are you taking? <laughs> are, are you helping someone take a bath? Is that what it is? <laughs> huh? No. Because cause that's the... <laughs> Look, it was supposed to be really easy, but I accidentally held my thumb over the mic thing on my iPhone, so it kind of messed up. <laughs> the start, it wasn't like that. Uh, and I'll, I'll also go out there. I'll say I didn't, I didn't do any of the rules. All right, it was stupid. I don't know what I was saying last week. 
I don't leave. I don't get out enough. It's too much hassle, too much work. We're already watching a movie before each podcast. <laughs> all right? I didn't follow the rules, okay? Guys, we're we're all Eskimos, okay? We just stay inside. Right? We rarely <laughs> go out. We just edit videos for your enjoyment. That's all we do. <laughs> all right? So don't be thinking it's outside. I thought would have thought you'd got it straight away. To be no. Honest. Are you making coffee? Oh, almost. What, what am I doing? What did you do to make coffee? You you heating up the water? Boil the kettle, baby. That's what that is. Ah. Sound, I would have thought. Okay. Right. Well, they. I actually got one. Hold up. What? Hold up. I yeah, actually yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> to be fair, it was supposed to be a joke. I was trying to do the easiest one I could possibly think of that didn't require me to have to, you know, do stuff, have actual air. <laughs> so that's what I came up with, and then I kind of amazing. I'm glad you let that show. I'm I'm, yep. I'm, I'm I'm glad. I'm not gonna hide from it. It's a bad idea. Screw those rules. Are we in agreement? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. So okay. I, I, I wonder. Um, let, let, let's talk about movies and shows that we've been watching. I, oh, we didn't talk about movies enough. This yeah, podcast. yeah. We we, sh- we sure didn't. We sure. Let's talk about Pokemon again. <laughs> no. So, no. what's your favorite Pokemon, Matt? Um, Primeape. Is it a Gen One? Are you a Gen One? <laughs> I'm, I am a Gen 1-er. Oh, what is this? All right, let me guess. I don't, I, I, I don't really have a, a fave. What? Everyone's got a favorite. Have you got... A, a, is it a starter or a legendary? Let's clear that up, first of all. Oh, I don't have a... No, I don't have a favorite legendary. Oh, uh, good. I, I, You're not I, one I of those do, I kind of do like starting always, um, regardless of what generation, the fire Pokemon. <laughs> the fire type. For some reason. Yeah, I always go fire. We should look, let's not talk about Pokemon again. Oh, yeah, it was a joke. Sorry, that, that's what <laughs> happens when you when we have conversations. We just kind of blank out. We just start talking about it, and we're like, "Oh, oh my God, we're we're talking about a podcast. We're you talking just on the pull podcast. on the strings ever so slightly and just go <laughs> sliding down some ridiculous." A time. joke that went too far. All dun, right, dun, dun. I watched oh, yeah. the dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. And man, was that a fantastic movie! I don't care, I don't, I don't care if you like. I I loved it. I lo- I liked the first one too. So this one Ooh, was even better. Oh no! Come on, the first one was good. Yeah, I'll give you that. All right, second one was okay. Oh, don't you think the ending it just went on a bit too long? No. Yeah, you do. Come on, man. Think about the ending. Just like standing up with the sunset. Music, 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 and then I just didn't, cut. I wasn't thinking about it. I, I guess it could. It could I guess it could be. I was a little long. disappointed at the cinemas. I thought it was an okay movie. It was worth watching, but come on, it wasn't amazing. Dude, dude, Caesar was a ba. He was yeah. such a good, good, like, dude. The monkeys. That's all I cared about was the monkeys. <laughs> well, look, the thing is, in the first one. The monkeys were a lot more, I don't know, you had different types of monkeys doing different types of things a lot. And because the monkeys were so much more human, the apes, we should say, because they were a, a lot more human in this movie. There was a lot less, you know, cool CGI stuff they did with them. Do you know what I mean? Does that oh, make there's, sense? There was still cool CGI. There was a lot of cool CGI. A lot it of was a good big movie. punches, like, oh, he just did that. You know, like, a lot of, uh, maybe the, the fight between, the first fight between uh, Caesar and... Koba was a little, eh, you know, I wanted him to do something really cool. But, like, all the other fights were pretty cool. I don't know. Like, I really, really enjoyed the CGI. Like, really enjoyed it. I felt, I, I it tugged in the heartstrings plenty of times. Plenty. And I, um, like, 10 minutes in the movie, 10 minutes through the movie, I was like, oh, there's subtitles. <laughs> right. <laughs> that made it so much easier. Uh, did, did what, they have subtitles in the, the movie theaters language. for the monkeys? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because dang, like without the subtitles, it's not so. You wouldn't have been able to understand no, so much of it. No, okay, unless you know sign language, and I sure enough don't. So, are you excited about the franchise as a whole? I think it was a yeah. good. It, it just it felt got, a bit short. Uh, it was better. Was it? it was better than the first one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't better than the first one, guys. All right. I'm sorry. Well, I know. <laughs> I don't know. For me, I thought I enjoyed it more. I I, right. I like James Franco a lot, so I okay. enjoyed the first one. And people people didn't like the first one. I like it. What? Yeah, people didn't like it. It's weird. Why did people like it. 
I I'm a fan. I've been a fan of the Planet of the Apes, even though they you know it. Matt Wahlberg, the very very. I, I'm sorry, um, girls, listen to this. I'm going to be a guy, dude. The the monkey in the Planet of the Apes. Uh, was it the Planet of the Apes or it's the one where he Matt Wahlberg is going through this the wormhole and he goes. That to was the planet. 2001 reboot that people yeah. didn't like. You're yeah. right. Yeah, people didn't like that. I, but the 2011 monkey, one. That monkey was hot. Whoa. The monkey was attractive, man. Um, the personality um, and everything. I was like, I was crying when he had to leave. I was like, oh, not be with me, monkey. You know, after a couple million years, you, you'll be uh, a human, right? <laughs> According right. to science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna get so much hate. <laughs> m- mo- moving on from from that, <laughs> whatever that was. Um, I- I'm sorry. All right, uh, the the 2011 one was reasonably well received. Okay, 80 percent on uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, and this one. Uh, oh, wow. Widespread widespread critical acclaim. 91%. What is this? It wasn't as good. Okay. All right. I take it back. Mm-hmm. I take it back. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm just remembering it as worse than it was. Maybe I'm being a bit cynical. Because I do remember enjoying it. I don't it. know. Maybe, maybe maybe your girlfriend just jumped you. I don't know. I don't okay. know. Okay. You right. went in yeah. there. You know, some stuff was going on at home. You went in there with a sourpuss face. And you didn't enjoy it as much as you should have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Well, that's good, though, because I did want to see another sequel, and I remember after watching it, I was a little bit worried there wouldn't be another one because I was worried people wouldn't like it that much. But yeah, I was worried I as I was well. Wrong. But then that came out, and I was like, oh, yes, this is amazing. Oh, my gosh, the monkeys were so good. You need to watch it again. All right, yeah, I, 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 we're done. We're done. We're, do, okay. we're done talking about that. All right, okay. We're done. We're done talking. So uh, what, are we, what are we moving on to next? Uh, riddles. You said you had Riddles. Yeah, so someone someone kindly went out of their way to message me and said, here's some riddles for Matt. So this week I get to give the riddles. Oh, are you ready more, for this? More of me looking stupid. Okay. The, these are community inspired, all right? So they're right. for you. Doubtless this means they're all about Guild Wars 2. I'm sure you'll be all right. Okay, Guild Wars 2 riddles. You good okay. with that? Here we go. Um, uh, Irish dog this was, so thank you very much. He says, I've got some riddles. You can ask Matt for the podcast. Round like an apple, deep like a cup, yet all the king's horses can't pull it up. What is it? Round or, like an apple, deep like a cup. I can give you a choice, yeah? Or you can veto that one and try and do the other. But it's up to you. You might be able what, to figure this you, out. Can you give me, like, multiple choice? <laughs> No, no, no. All right. So here's the game. Uh, two riddles, okay? Right. Do you, if you, maybe you can get this one. If you think you're never gonna get it, you can veto it though, and I'll give you a backup. But okay. if you go for the backup, you're stuck with it. You can't go back to the original one. Do you want me to read it out loud again? See if you can get it. Or yeah. Video? Yeah. It's it's weird doing riddles on a podcast because you, you know they have to sit there while I go um um um. So well, no, no, no. They're going um as well though. You gotta consider that. All right, all right, go ahead. Round like an apple, mm-hmm. deep like a cup. Is the Guild Wars yeah, 2 related? All the king... No, it's not. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> deep like a cup, yet all the king's horses can't pull it up. All right. Do you want to go for it or do you want to veto? I will tell you that the other one uh, is more poetic, but probably a little bit harder. All right, let's go to the next one. You want to go for the next one, mm-hmm. even though I just said it may be a little bit harder. Yeah. Okay. Only one color, but not one size. Stuck at the bottom, yet easily flies. Okay. Present in sun, but not in rain. Doing no harm and okay. feeling no pain. <laughs> wow. You weren't kidding. It, it, but if you listen to it, it's, it's kind of clever. I like this one. Only one color, but not one size. It's stuck at the bottom, but it easily flies. It's present in sun, but not in rain. Doing no harm and feeling no pain. All right. The biggest clue is present in sun, but not in rain. It's only one color. This this thing will only ever be one color. It can change sizes. It's Was always it, is, at the is bottom. Is it a shadow? Oh, there you go. It's a shadow. Oh wow! I got the harder one. Awesome. Yeah. That means I can totally be a wuss and say, "Oh, I don't know what the first one is." The first one was a well. 
All right. You want to hear it again? Uh, Round like an apple, deep like a cup, yet all the king's horses can't put it up. Oh, well. All, I don't know. All the king's horses is like, that's a clever way of saying that with, with like just saying, instead of saying something else. Well, it's just, it just makes you think of old timey, doesn't it? Makes you realize what miserable existence you live in because there are no king's horses and stuff where you live. Yeah. I'll have a king before I die. You won't. <laughs> I'm acting like I care about the monarchy right now. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you very much to that Irish dog, 41. He says that he didn't actually come up with them. They came from a book, but that's whatever. We haven't read that book, so that's pretty cool. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, is that us done? Oh, no, questions. You ready for some questions? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. So the first one's from Xpetrol, who says, have you guys ever met in real... <laughs> These questions... What are we going to do about the question section, Matt? What are we going to do? I don't I don't know. I think it deserves a bit of a cut, like the iTunes review. We have to trim the fat. It, All these features. What do, what do right? you mean? There's that many... What do you mean? Look at this question. Have why you guys you, why ever met... Why are you being met... so mean today? You're being so mean. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He doesn't I'm mean that. He, he's trying to be funny, guys. Don't 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 listen to him. Oh, I wasn't being mean about this. I, I guess I was being mean about the person asking the question. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying now. You're saying because people have asked that question at least 10 times? Well, there's no answer either. And here we are. We're about to do it on the podcast. X-Pectral no, you, says, you pick the have you guys ever met in real life before? You don't know how to pick questions. I see that. You, you don't, <laughs> I you don't throw that. the hard balls. The balls well, right, of stale. Must, balls. I, I put... I put a hard ball on here before. Do you want to talk about that? No, no let's not talk about <laughs> Gilgamesh 2. All right. Uh, all right. Well, have we ever met in real life? Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said it like that. It has nothing to do with. Oh crap. Never mind. Yeah, um, no, right. we haven't met in real life. Well, no. What about that one time I went to your house and you know stared at you through the window? <laughs> what is this, Michael Jackson and and that that kid from Home Alone? Oh, dude. What? You, the man's <laughs> dead. All right. Too He's soon? dead. <laughs> Well, no, people were making those jokes while he was alive. The great tragedy about that, of course, is everyone was hating on him openly, all this public vitriol thrown at the dude. And then the second he dies, that he's a hero, but he never gets to see any of that. He never gets to see the love. What a weird world we live in, eh? Yeah. But yeah, so, I mean, I have stalked Matt. I have been to the States several times since we started, you know, doing this whole YouTube thing together. What? If that but was true, I just I don't tell him about pissed. it. I would have been right. so You can pissed. actually... Most of the fishing for information about his private life comes about off the podcast, but you guys can actually hear me fishing for information to stalk him, even on the podcast. Um, it's been pretty interesting, actually. One day, I intend to really freak you out. Like, you know, I'll <laughs> leave a chopped off head in your in your bed or something. Wow. Interesting, wouldn't it? A real head, or are we, are we talking about fish? No, a, 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 real, a real head. I'm, I'm going to surprise you with whose head it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, the uh, the next question as well comes from Tippertot, who says, to both of you, do you want to live forever? Now, I picked this question. I actually think this could be pretty interesting to talk about. Yeah. So there's I, a bit of pressure now. Um, I, I'm i going to say, I, I know there's, the, you know, there's complications of living forever. You know, you see people that you fall in love with die and all this yeah. stuff. But I I think I still want to live forever. Reason Same. why is I kind of want to see everything. I want to see everything. I well, so here's here's something, right? If you live forever, okay, mm -hmm. I forget stuff that I did like last year already, right? When you're really, really old, is this idea of you living forever, does it also include you like remembering everything that also happens to you? Because what's the point? Here's my, here's my thing. What's the point in living forever so that you can see everything if you're just going to forget stuff? You know, a couple of years down the line, anyway. Because it's space. Cause it, yeah, because the, the, the aptitude of your brain, its capacity, whatever you want to say, you know. So, what do, you, what do you think? Would you live forever even knowing that you're going to hit a max anyway of how wise you are, how much experience you can keep in your head? Hmm. That's weird. Because think yeah. about it. In a th you live forever in a thousand years. Nothing of you. The man. Nothing. Yeah, I know. This is it's a depressing topic. That's the thing. You know, everyone always says it's depressing to live forever because you, everyone you ever come to know and love and connect with will die. I actually think, yeah, that would really bum you out. You're right, it probably would the first time. It would bum you out less the second time. You know, when your second beloved pet dies, you're not quite as sad as the first one. When the first love of your life breaks your heart, you're not quite as sad as the second the, the That's se if the someone doesn't around. kill you or you don't die in a horrible accident. Are you invulnerable and immortal or just immortal? 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I mean, I would I would like to be if I'm living forever. I'd like to be invulnerable, for sure. I mean, I'd just like to be invulnerable. I'll throw that out there. I think yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> be like, oh, this play is going down. That's okay. I got you. All right. What about this though? You're invulnerable, and then someone um puts massive blocks of concrete onto your feet. So you know, welds them on there or whatever, and your arms, and throws you in the bottom of the ocean. So what you just keep drowning? You get the sensation of keep of drowning over and over. Or again. even even if you don't feel like you're drowning, you're secluded in the abyss with no way to escape for thousands potentially of years. Until so someone that. finds you. And no one will find you, you know, that deep out in the middle of the oceans. 75% of the world is the oceans. We know more about the moon than we do about the oceans down there in the depths. There's entire shipwrecks that we know roughly where they were before they sank that we've never seen again. And you're just a single body down there. What do you that think? That could be a really, really good movie. Fate Worse Than Death? I think that would be a pretty horrible movie, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, oh, we're finally going to release him after a thousand years. Has he gone mad? Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> you know, he comes out and he like, would you, he's would all you be, broken. All right, go ahead. Would you want to be invulnerable if it meant you went slightly insane? Or would you rather keep your mental... Would you rather stay Matt Visual, but, you know, be mortal and fallible and whatever? Or would you give that up? Basically change yourself, maybe for the worse, you don't know, but in a big way, just so that you become immortal. No, nah, I don't th- think it's that serious. I, I, it, it, this whole thing seems from, oh, without any cost. You just get it for free. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's worth going into, like, crazy territory just to uh, get something like that. You wouldn't make a very good Mo- Voldemort, you know. Voldemort was pretty cool that way. He wanted to live forever. He killed lots of people for it. He, like, yeah. destroyed the way he looked. He was an interesting fellow. You, you're, you're too... You're too um, well reasoned. What is this? Yeah, I'd give up a lot for immortality. I'll be honest. I'd give up a lot for immortality. I probably wouldn't kill for immor- immortality, but I'd do a lot for immortality. Really? W- w- would you? Would you destroy my YouTube channel for immortality? I would spend fifty years locked in a, in a tiny prison with no interaction from anyone in the whole world for fifty years. All right, just so that if I knew that when I came out, I'd be immortal. And I appreciate that. that would damage my brain. That would, would add on me in old? some way, but I'd do would it. Would you come out? That's a good point. Because I'd only want to be immortal, like, early 30s at the latest. I reckon after that, you're yeah. you're at the point where, you know, you're probably getting a bit too damaged or whatever to be perfectly physically fit and do anything you ever wanted, you know? Yeah. I guess I, if I, I didn't age. I would be in perfect shape if I'm going to be immortal. Yeah. Okay, we're we're done talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're done talking about that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Visual Wood Podcast for this week. We'll see you guys next week. Leave down your questions and tell us if you would kill to become immortal. Mm-hmm. And I'll like team up with you. Thoughts. Get that head. We read all your uh, your comments, good or bad. Um, Why did you say that like that? You made it sound like we don't actually read the comments when we totally no, we do. do. We 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 do. We definitely wow. do, don't we? Well, that's muddied that then, hasn't it? <laughs> it kind of has. No, but seriously, we do. And <laughs> and we talk about, you know, one or two mm-hmm. <clears throat> every All right. week. Yeah. All right. You know, sometimes where you just stop talking. Mo- yeah. 90, 99% of them are always good. Always okay. good. Solid. Criticisms doesn't matter. That's fine. That's 60% fine. of the time, it works every time. Yeah, that one percent though. That one percent. We're looking at you. Tune in next week for the <laughs> one-year anniversary. Very special stuff coming there. Yeah, special stuff. Leave down below what you would like to see. I mean, mm-hmm. um, watch, listen, listen to. Oh, don't say watch. You've just made that sound like we are going to do something special now. No. I just okay. made that sound uh, to uh, to to face cam, face cam, face cam. Oh yeah, okay. Face well, <laughs> thanks. Thank <you>. Face cam, <coughs> face cam, face cam. Face cam. <laughs> I don't think he's ready yet, guys. I don't think he's ready. I think we have to give him some time. I could like put a cuddly toy on the face cam. If no. You oh, would it would it be in your house? Would yeah. it be live? 
What is the interest in seeing a live cuddly toy in my house? What because is this? Because there could be mistakes. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. You'd get people watching the whole podcast and there wouldn't be any mistakes. <laughs> that would just be cruel. Dude, dude. And that would, that would just be a game. That would just be... Oh, man. It would be a fantastic game, dude. You could have it. Dude, I... I swear we could we could stream it on Twitch, right? There's no way I'm doing a, a live podcast. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> on yeah, can we do it with a one hour and a half delay? Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost like it's live, but it's not really. <laughs> one day we're gonna look back at this stuff and laugh. Yeah. Because you're gonna have been showing your face and stuff like that. You're, there's no way you're just gonna cut ties with me some random like five years from now and never show me your face. Just to let you know. Okay. I know your name, damn it. Oh, it ain't happening. You might. Like, you know what? Matthew's been a good friend, but you're unraveling my master plan here. No <laughs> I'm just gonna buck and get out of here. <laughs> Cause he, you know, he wants to be, you know, he wants to, he wants to actually meet me in real life. He wants to actually touch me with his fingers. You know, that type of stuff. You know, that's what regular friends do. But <laughs> I have met you in real life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye. <laughs>